Good morning, welcome back to the Amputee Angler. Uh, on my friend John's boat today, you've seen John previously in other videos on his Barracuda 7 today, Barracuda 8, are we John? Yes. Barracuda 8. Um, so we're gonna bomb out today, plan today. We think there's a little bit of wind coming at some point, we're not sure, but at a minute it's okay. So we're gonna get offshore, bit of wrecking and a bit of turbiting today, that's the plan. But as always, plans change, so depending on how we get on will depend on what we do. Usual score, so sidewinders, red gear, slow jigs from the wrecks, and then turbot in will be uh, my turbot rigs that I use with the beads and a little tiny spoons, little spinner blades, and then hopefully some fresh mackerel for bait. That's the plan, and we're gonna see what comes up. So uh, let's get to it. It's all right, I've got two or three out. Yeah. Got I'll just bring them out. Yeah, there we go. Ready? Here they come. Good ones as well. Oh, oh, sorry, mate. There's your lead. Right. Sorry. Mate. Get the lead. Yeah, got it. Big ones. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's what we want. That's bait. I'm not sure how you actually prep them, yeah. So, um, I cut that little bit of belly off normally. This bit off here. Yeah. yeah, and then I just go down the middle. Yeah. So just it. Yeah. spinning up okay so we've uh, come out to the banks now managed to catch a couple of bits of bait three nice mackerel need some more though so we're fishing one rod now each for mackerel and we've got one rod down each for turbot so quite far off now obviously i'm not going to say the location but it's one of two or three we'll probably work today that we know hold turbot and the idea today is just try and get some in the bag for the year and later on, me and John are going to go and play about and find some uh, new marks for them that are perhaps lesser fished, not as well known. So, oh, can I see that going up and down there? You and John? Oh, oh and John's in. No, no, no. Oh, he was. I am, though. No. I can see I am. I think I'm in as well, actually. Stay with me, folks. Because I think. I saw a bite, yeah, I can see a bite. So, I'm not saying it's turbot, but we are just coming out of the bank now. Something's on. I think so. Oh, I might be the lead, I'm not sure. I'll bring it in anyway, that's quite a bit. I'll bring it in, let's have a look, because I did see a bite. Can't feel anything kicking, so it might just be my lead, but... Oh, I don't know. Something's on. Had to happen. <laughs> Had to happen. Doggy off the bat. However... That tells me that, oh Christ, that was a feisty one. That tells me that the rig works. Cut the spoons, beads, mackerel fillet, circle hook perfectly in the side. Lovely. Well, we're gonna have some more fresh bait now, which is good. I need to get my turbot rod down because we're coming up on the bank now. There we go. Now two. Lovely baits. That bottom one is a lovely fish. What you call multitasking look bait going down on one side and turbot rig down the other so we are just starting to come up the bank now which is one of the most important parts when turbot fishing depending on the state of the tide you'll get them at the top of the bank as in when you're coming up it or they'll be the other side of it so it all depends yeah it's a bite and the other one's got one as well all right so both me and john we're getting bites when you're turbiting, a lot of people don't realise they strike and all sorts. It's not how you play turbot or you catch turbot. Get a bite, let a little bit of line off. Because what it does is it grabs the end of the bait and it wants to take the second bit to get the bit in where the hook is. And if you strike or lift in too early, you just miss it. So don't rush is the answer. Okay, so as you're going up and down these banks, it's important that you know what's going on with your lead and your bait at the bottom. Because as you come up a bank, your line will be fine. As you come down it and it gets deeper, if you're not letting line off, your bait will come off the top of the bank and just kite over the top and you'll miss the turbot. 
And that's where a lot of people go wrong, is the fact they're just not on the bottom. Yeah, it's a fish jump. Yeah, this is what we're after, right? Okay, so we've got fish on. It's really rattly and it feels heavy. It doesn't feel like a dog, and I'll probably look very silly when I get it up, and it's a dog. So when they come up for the water, because they're flat, when they curl themselves up, it's like dragging a carrier bag for the water. And they'll go heavy light, heavy light. And that's what this is doing. So like I said, just steady reeling. Now, it doesn't matter what it is. John made a good point a minute ago. It was just treat it like a turbot. If you get it up and it is one, you'll be grateful you did. If it isn't, you've still got it in anyway. A flat turbot. Out. Yes, first turbot of the year. It's a baby, baby turbot. But first turbot of the year. I said it wasn't a dog. Felt like a turbot because it is a turbot. Happy days. Boom. Another rock. <laughs> so, turbot we caught earlier. A turbot, got almost diamond shape. On their back, they've got little nymphs, bumps. They feel like you're, what you get in your toenails, your fingernails. The underside is completely white. This is only a baby one, but he, he fell to a 6-0 hook. And I think John might be in out of sight, but that mouth there is absolutely huge. But that's a lovely little turbot, that one. Let's get him back. Back he goes. There we go, another one. The rig I'm using today, got a standard wrecking boom with a 10 ounce watch lead. It's a length of fluorocarbon, sort of six foot. And I've got a few little tiny loomy beads, tiny little place spinners, down to a 6.0 circle hook. And that's the rig I'm using. Uh, I did have a J-O-Con, but changed to a circle now. And that's it. And then you just let that down. In a bigger tide, if you've got spinners on like I have, they can spin up a little bit. And my last one done that. Um, just got to be careful of it. Other than that, really easy. That's what we're after. Okay. All right, so we just come to the top of the bank. I've got a really nice bite. Gave it time, didn't rush it. I've just lifted into it, a couple of initial kicks, and now we're going heavy flat, heavy flat, like now. So I think this is a turbot. Yeah. It's really important that you don't rush these turbot bites. If you get excited, especially if you're new, and you go, oh, bite, bite, bite. Just give it time. Like I said, I reiterate, I'm not pumping. It might not be a turbo. I think it is, but it might not be. But you still treat it like one. And it's kiting out the back of the boat here as well. I see colour. It's a... This is a nice turbot. It's a lovely turbot on this side. Go on. He's in the net. In the net. It's a lovely turbot. That's a lovely turbot, that is. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not, a, not as big as I thought it was, but it's a dinner turbot. Oh, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Wait till you see this. That's a dinner turbot. Right. There's my lead, John. So I'm, I'm now free now. Free, yeah. I'm just going to put this here. I was getting this, I was getting this out of the way. Come on, John, go on. Oh, yes, matey. That's a table turbot. Hooks in the net, though. Hooks in the net. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> There we go, here he is. And that is a nice turbo, it's a good, good few pound that one. Let's try and get you a better angle. That is a lovely turbo. And he's hooked. This is why I like circle hooks when I'm turbiting. Look at that, perfectly hooked in the bottom jaw. Absolutely brilliant, that's a lovely fish. Oh, John, he's a, he's a cracking fish. We've now come to another mark now. We've tried out one mark. 
we know it's got turbot now, so we're happy with that. Today's all about bouncing around a couple of known marks that we've got for turbot, confirming they're there, so we've got a few in our pocket. And then later on in the year, we're going to bomb around and find some more, get a couple of marks for our own that aren't as heavily fished by pleasure and commercial, obviously. But yeah, cut a turbot in the bag today, so that's good. Hopefully a couple more. And then we've got a wreck to try after this, just because it's near where we're fishing. And then we're going down to another another turbot mark that's thrown up turbot before. So plan's going to plan. <laughs> what more can I say at the minute? All right, so John is in first drift on this new mark. John is in, and I've got a bite over there as well. So I'm going to put you up here. I know you see everything that John's doing. Right, if you need the net, you let me know. That's it, flat. Is it, is it a fish? It's not a rock. It's kicking back. Well, so it's kicking, there's a fish, isn't it? Before, but it's a flag. Yeah. Well, they go, they go, they start, stop, don't they? It's like I said earlier, they, they start, stop. No. Is it? Ah, oh, no. Doggy for Johnny. Doggy for Johnny. Right, so turbot in. When you've got your lines down from the boat, once it is the bottom, don't just engage a reel and leave it. You want your lines away from the boat. So as mine hits the bottom, I'll lift my rod straight above my head to get another six, eight foot of line off. It goes in the older. Minute later, I'm letting more line off the reel. If you're straight up and down the boat, every little mo movement, especially in rougher weather, you're directly in contact with that weight. You're lifting your bait and your weight off the bottom. By having it out at a slight angle, if the boat moves, your bait's still gonna be towing along on the bottom, which is what you need for these turbot, as I've already highlighted. And I'll say it again, most people don't catch turbot. Two reasons. One, they're not where the turbot are. And two, they're just not on the bottom. If you take one of those things out of the equation, you don't catch turbot. It's as simple as that. So, won't harp on about it again. There you go. Okay, so, moving marks now. So, the second turbot bank, we only gave it one little drift and didn't have nothing on it. So, we're getting itchy. So, we're going to move down to a mark where we've had plenty of turbot before. But there's a wreck on the way. So, we're going to stop, have a go on the wreck. It's not particularly big, but it holds. I know it holds, so I've had fish off it before. It's a nice deep wreck, and we're in a uh, good couple of hundred foot of water. I think John's going to put us on it first time. And there we go. See it coming in now. Okay, the wreck's just coming in, guys. So both me and John will drop back down to the bottom now. In it to win it. It's not always a win, sometimes you lose. There's only a small wreck, this one. Bite. Yep, fish up, fish up. Yep, that's a fish. Oh, it's taking line. Oh, we're running. Oh, we got a nice fish. We got, oh, it's off. Oh, it's off. That was a nice fish, that one. Oh, no, devastating. That was a nice fish. I'd... Oh, that was a nice fish, John. I'm not going to know what that was now. It slow to go, and then it suddenly started diving hard. Oh, that's going to bug me, that was, because that felt good. That felt really good. Damn it. Okay, so... Felt like the, look, the fish just come off. It's actually bit me off. That's not a curly tail where the knot's pulled through. That's bit me off. Didn't feel like a pollock. Just big deep diving runs and then it suddenly woke up, bang bang, and it's bit me off. That could well have been a ling. Right, I don't know how much you caught on the last clip. Um, but yeah, it, really running that last fish. Really running, well above the wreck. And it actually bit through the tray. So I've, I fished 30 pound mono on my traces for wrecking. As in for the one that's attached to my lure and it bit clean through it. Now the only thing that really does, I mean, something could have picked it up, a tote maybe, conger reel, but unlikely on a lure. So possible ling. This is a tiny unfished, it's not fished much this wreck, so it is possible. But second drift, see if we can get one. Oh, fish on. Yeah, just dead weight, nothing. It's woken up now, there you go. Yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, it's another good one. John, this is a good fish again. This is a good fish again. 
Really good fish. All right, I've got, I've got, I'm sorry, Damari, no, you keep fishing. I've got it, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got the better of him. He's off the wreck now. Another good fish, guys. I hooked it, and I just, it was just dead weight. It didn't even realise it was hooked. And then it just went bombing off. John put us bang on the centre wreck, lovely drift. And this is going to be a very big fish, I think. It's a small wreck, and I was saying to Johnny, well, it's tiny, I said it holds. These, these small ones, I've said it before, they don't get fished that much. And as a result, the good fish get left alone. It's a big, it's, it's a pollock, but it's big. Size of that. Ooh, Jesus nice, Christ. Nice That's a big double, guys. Nice double. That is a big double pollock. That is the biggest pollock of the year. That will be absolutely, that is a donkey. That is an absolute donkey. That is a donkey. That is an absolute donkey. Oh my good word. Yeah, oh, that's a double. That is a double all day long. And the lure is barely in there. Barely in. That is a good pollock. Yes! Get in! <laughs> oh wow. Ha! I told you. Get in, guys. Get in. Oh. There we go, lovely Pollock, double figure Pollock. Uh, I said these smaller X, they hold them. Everyone leaves them alone because they're tiny, people can't hit them properly. John's hit it bang on, dosh, straight down. Happy days, lovely Pollock. So, I'm gonna go around again, let's try and snatch a couple more because you can't walk away from those sort of fish. And then we're gonna crack on with a turbot. I can hear storms in the background, so we're probably gonna get wet at some point, but we don't care, we're catching. Yeah, we've got a little bit of tide left. The tide is starting to drop off now, so, when we get down to the new turbot mark, that'll be perfect time to get some bait. Some more mackerel, some sand eels possibly. Um, and that'll be us back turbotting again then. And then probably a few wrecks on the way home if John fancies it. So here we go again. Wrecks just coming in. I'm not quite down yet. Parting. It is absolutely tipping it down now. I have got a rod out. We're on another turbot bank now. We come back turbot in. Uh, another, another different mark now. So the third mark we fished. Um, <laughs> not nice, but the fish are already wet. I don't care. But this is horrible. It's still calm. We're fishing. If there's any water on the lens, I'm sorry. But we're doing it. We're catching fish. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Wait, it? Fish on. <laughs> so maybe come out and net it, you know, in the flat. <laughs> <laughs> if it's flat, I'm coming out. <laughs> oh, nice, a doggy. I thought it was. Oh no. Oh, I thought we had something there. I can't see. Cod. Cod, go on. He's only got a cod. John is on. Hey, that was off the wreck, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, just coming in. Oh, exactly what it was. What? Because you know you're so far off the wreck, don't you? Yeah. It's cod, isn't it? Is it a cod? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's alright, I've got it. You go. You're so far off, innit? You know it. When you said, That's what I said, innit? You said, we ain't even on it, and I thought, cod. The way he's kicking hard, you know there that. There you go. Smash out the camera for us. I rock. That's the first one. So scallop. Oh, no, scallop. scallop. Get in. Go on. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. Look at that. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Get in. I'll take that. That's a lovely scallop. It's been sitting on there for a while. I've been watching it.
Yeah, 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 it's a turbo, it's a turbo, it's a turbo. It's a small one, but it's a turbo. I'll lift it in, try it. <laughs> so another one, another turbo. Oh, I said it felt a bit turbo, it's been on there for a while, that has. There we go, we've got another one. Turbo number three for me today. There we go, I didn't have a little baby, but he was hanging on there for a while. There we go. Again, circle up, bang in the mouth. Oh yeah, that weren't ever getting off that one. Can't even get it out now. Well, that is the end of another empty angler session. Out with John on his boat. Brilliant day. Slow day, you know, fishing wasn't brilliant, but the plan was to... Well, that's a lie, the fishing was good. But the plan was to bounce around, find a turbot, yep, confirm they're there again, and move. And we've done that, three different turbot marks today. And then the secondary plan between that, bounce around some wrecks, find some cod and pollock and bass, hopefully. And we've done two of those as well. So, all in all, brilliant day in terms of fishing. You know, what we caught was good. But I'm absolutely soaking. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you like the videos. All right, there's plenty of them out there to watch, and there's plenty more coming. So it doesn't cost anything to you, but it means the world to me. So please hit that smash button, uh, smash the like button, should I say, <laughs> and subscribe. And I'll see you all again.